I grew up in Port Arlington, a small town just near Geelong. I've always loved sport, but I didn't take up athletics till I was 17. My classification is a T42, which means I'm an above knee amputee. At the age of 15, I was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer inside my knee. I was faced with two choices, one to lose my leg or the other radical surgery. I chose amputation for my best chance of survival. I made the right choice. It has changed my life and opened so many doors. I am making the most out of it and I am the person today because of it. After losing my leg, I had to give up netball, so I took up running to get back into normal life and I've just stuck to it. It's just part of my life now, it's what I do. My proudest moment was making the Beijing 2008 Paralympics. My time wasn't great, but I made it there and that was what was important. I broke the 200 metre world record in 2009, but by far my biggest highlight was bringing home two gold medals and a world record for the 2011 World Championships. I've had my heart set on London for so long. London will be different to Beijing. This time, I'll be the one they're looking to be. So the pressure's on. My biggest strength as an athlete, my determination. I suppose my biggest weakness is worrying about what other athletes are doing. But I know I've got to worry about my own race, not what they're doing, and focus on myself. I'm much more nervous the night before my competition and I find it difficult to sleep, but on the day, I'm much more relaxed. Before I jump or before I race, it's so important to have in my head what we've talked about and practiced. Everything must be blocked out and the only thing that matters is what's in front of you. I'm training seven days a week at the moment, day in and day out. Training's tough, but I work for it. I guess I'll rest after the Paralympics. I don't know why I love running. I love the competition. It's a solo sport and it's all up to you. My goal is to get my personal best and if that means coming home with two gold medals, that would be amazing. I can't even describe what it's like being part of the Australian team. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. But I want to compete for Australia for as long as I can.